Again for Martha. So, were you born in 69? I was. Me too. Me too. Just turned 52. Woo! And uh, yeah, I was the Brian Adams song. I was born in the summer of 69. It's my favorite number. So I'm 52, and I just got engaged. Woo! Yeah. It's a mixed marriage. I'm white. He's vegan. Which is funny because I met him on Bumble, which is basically a meat market. He's vegan, and I've been known to hide under the bed eating a Big Mac. Oh, well, that's not really meat anyway, so I guess that's all right. He eats a lot of things. Uh, he calls himself actually a flexitarian. So he'll eat dairy, he'll eat meat, and yes, he eats my cooking. But flexitarian, that seems kind of wishy-washy, don't you think? Sort of like the swingers of the food ethics, you know? It's like, oh, I take care of my body, I eat fruits and vegetables and organic. But did you see the ass on those pork chops? He says it's like eating a salad every day, which is fine. But after a while, you kind of think, you know, kind of would like a little Parmesan. You know, maybe, uh, little dressing, something with anchovies, and if I'm feeling really randy, let's invite over some chicken. You know there's an app for that, it's called Caesar. But I have been married before, um, actually three times. <laughs> so yeah, I've been divorced, I've been divorced, and I've been widowed. So I think God took the wrong one, but here I am. Yeah, it's okay to laugh, it really is. I've, I've been through all the stages of grief, it's okay. I've been through anger, denial, younger men. Yeah, I love the young ones. Oh my goodness, the last one was so young, I didn't know whether to fuck him or breastfeed him. <laughs> Fortunately, he liked both. It was really easy, give him a little bit of time, story, a glass of water, blow job, they go right to sleep. <laughs> But I, I'm getting married, and I think the problem is that I'm actually addicted to weddings, okay? I love the fact that we are investigating the patriarchy, the oppressive, my father's gonna give the ownership of myself to this other man. Oh, it just really excites the little Disney princess in me. Plus I look great and white, and I think I'm going to mainline buttercream icing. Love weddings. Jordan almonds. White dresses, seating charts, it's all coming back. I mean, I've been down the aisle and back up it before. You know, so getting married in your 50s is really different. Like, do I wear white? No, I can't. <laughs> I mean, I wore white the first time, but I didn't wear white the second time. But I think after you're widowed, you sort of get re-virginized. Like everything below the waist has been hermetically sealed, like one of those little packets of silverware at Chewy's completely untouched territory. See, men don't understand that. Dating a widow, we will jump on you like the donut cart at a Jenny Craig convention. You know, we haven't had it in a while and we know how it works. We do. Yeah, she's nodding, you get it. We know how it works and we don't have that someone somewhere is sick of her vibe. So it works. It's like we have a license We've had a marriage license, we have a license, but we have a car that doesn't run, hasn't run in a while, and we have an entire tank of passion gas and no fucking license, and no fucking license, so. But I do think that getting married is gonna be really great. I'm looking forward to it, and I'm hoping this one makes it past till death to his part, because that was no fun. It, honestly, it's okay to laugh, it really is. My late husband, he was an Elvis impersonator, so he loved to be in the spotlight. He always wanted to be the center of attention, which is why I'm having his ashes scattered over the Kardashians. <laughs> but this time, till death do us part, all the way down the aisle, but being a flexitarian, I kind of worry. It sounds like he has commitment issues, so I am not deleting Bumble, and you can still find me on Caesar. My name is Martha, thank you.
One more time for Martha Louise. Give it up.